Nemesis versus Afro. What's good, everybody? How you doing? We got a very interesting matchup here. I am guessing I'm going to get shit on in this. But it's a random mirror match versus Maserides. A sub and mod of mine, actually. Um, hmm. I have my back off to get rid of his shield, right? And um, like I said, this is a random ditto. Uh, what we like to do is one strike each on Battle Riff if you, oh, and, and it's a Battle Riff game for $2. Um, if you F6 within the first like 20 to 30 seconds of the game, yeah, he's got hog. He got hog. I want to take those small creeps, but he got them. As much damage to him as we can. Not that it matters that much, though, unfortunately. But I guess that's that's a fair amount of damage. Um, so yeah, we like to uh, get um, uh, get the most interesting, fun matchups that we can, and provide one strike each for each other. This one, I've beaten Maz twice in some pretty bullshit matchups here. So I figure, you know what? I'm not even gonna uh, gonna strike this one. It's an interesting matchup anyway. Maybe I could do something. Right? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I doubt it, but. Maybe I can pull some shit, right? We might be able to kill him here. Damn. One more auto might have done it. I think it was it would be like an auto and a fucking half, dude. But at least we push him out. He does get the red, unfortunately, which gives him a good golden experience lead. I'd really like to get his blue, but I don't think there's any shot at it. So I guess gotta go for mine, unfortunately. Push out this wave and go for mine. I'd like to get another point in my three here and not get my ultimate, unless my opponent has like super aggro on me and situationally that I need it, you know. Yeah, if I went for that blue right now, he'd have hog up and he would be able to just kill me at it and take it so oh back off does the damage first before the sh oh that sucks so it'll take so it'll still hit him for fuck that, that does suck <laughs> so it'll still reflect the damage and then take his shield off so I'll have to back off and then kiss and then birds him oh man this does not look good we're gonna try our best though it's just in one of the many examples, though, of how, you know, uh, you can actually, like, say I didn't have another strike left. So, like, say my first one was, like, Geb versus Apollo, right? Then I would have wanted to stick this one out with, uh, well, I would have had to stick this one out with Aphrodite. So sometimes you just got to see what you can do, you know? And it's fun to challenge yourself and see what, uh, you know, what options you have. Oh, wait, I have the kiss, too, dude. The kiss takes him out of it. Duh. All right, sick. I want him to overextend here so that I can go back in and kill him. Um, I feel like, you know, with the sustain from the birds here, I could, uh, I can stick just a tiny bit. There we go. And now with the sprint, you're dead, son. He did not account for the sprint. He's like, Aphrodite has no movement options here. What's he going to do? See, so in these matchups, you just got to be creative and try to find ways to, uh, you know, to outsmart your opponent, right? Like, it is a losing matchup for me, but I got to try to find ways to uh, to make it a win. So it really, uh, random dittos really explore the, you know, full range of options that you have in Duel, and I like it a lot for that reason. But he's going to come back over here and fucking steal this because he's got hog. Make me a sad boy. Can just do this. Try to dip before he kills me. He probably expects that. Oh no! Okay, I was gonna say he probably expects that I'm going around the other way, so I was gonna try to back there. But all right, fine. At least I have like. Oh my god! Look how much gold I have. Dude. I have so much sustain. With uh, with Afro here, with this Soul Stone, you get. Oh my god! The amount of MP5 is disgusting. So you're. Uh, you're able to stick forever. I definitely recommend it on her. 100% you should be getting it. Ugh, she can't even clear the minions. It's because I have no items, though, but... <laughs> you tried to scare me there into staying. Um, I guess I'll go She's a Focus and straight into... Uh, Warlocks is going to be rough, man. 
because of her chins, but it's still got to be built into her. I'll have no health at all, so I am going to go Warlocks here regardless. I wish I was stacking already. You would think with all the time I stayed. I don't know if I want to level my ult here or not. I guess I do for his ult. I have sprint for his ult, but I'll also obviously need my ult. At least my ult's a decent answer for his as well. Holy crap, you hit hard. Golden Bow, man. Oh, Jesus. Why does it hit that hard? There we go. Took the shield off. If I had another kiss up, I'd be able to kill him here. Oh, he does run into it. It's beautiful. Damn. Nice response from him there. Oh, that would have been so clutch. Another one of those sprint uh, two kills. I think maybe his red is up. It's going to be a little risky. I mean, it's blue, obviously. Come on, come on. Let us get it. Fuck, dude. That's, this is the biggest problem with Afro, that her clear is so slow. It sucks. So she can never get jungle buff. She can never control the jungle appropriately. So her clear is ass cheeks. I should have just went for my own, but I wanted to get some sort of victory there. Instead, I get nothing, and now he gets both blues, because he probably didn't even hog, so I can't even contest. Great. Nice job, Afro. What's up, Tritium? I miss you too, dude. How are you? Does Soulstone proc increase the healing? I don't think it does. I'm not positive about that, though. Uh, I'm pretty sure they changed it so that magical power does not uh, enhance your own healing. Is that true, you guys? Oh, the red's up. Maybe he has hog down. Fuck my life. So I'm up a kill <laughs> and up a substantial amount of gold, or a decent amount of gold, and fuck. I'm not even up, actually, because of dumbass fucking pot start versus non-pot start right now. Jesus. The point is, I can't get jungle buffs, and this man can. Watch this, I'm going to try to bait him. Nice! Oh, he didn't take his tower shot, are you serious? Come on, game. Give me one. Ah, I tried to, you know, trick him into going back into that there. So the reason that this is a winning matchup for Nemesis is because she is uh, just so versatile. Her early game is strong. Uh, because of the Golden Bow, she's able to uh, clear waves effectively um, and just not give a fuck. Her ultimate's up nearly all the time. Her shield is up a lot, and she is like one of the ultimate uh, boxing uh, gods in Smite. So, And come late game, she's one of the best gods, hands down. Holy shit, so close. You might want to rethink that one, buddy. Yeah, so he's going to go all the way back, and the unfortunate part is that I have nothing up that I can take. Afro, please. Can't even get, like, any tower poke anything, man. It'll just ult me here. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice. Ah. Uh, in terms of actives here, don't even know what will help me, to be honest with you. I'm going to wait on it, I guess, because I don't see anything that I can think of that will really help me. He's going straight into Brawlers. Once he gets auto attack online, he'll just be able to stick to me, especially goes Fatalis or Frostbound. Either one will completely fuck me. What's up, Smitty? For those of you guys uh, that are just coming in, I'm recording for YouTube right now. That's why I'm not uh, being as talkative with chat. Always trying to knock your opponent into the tower like that, and yet... <laughs> fuck. Didn't do that much. A lot of people lately have been commenting, being like, in Shadow, oh, he's so, uh... Watch this, I want him to dash? Will he dash? No? Haha! -ha. <laughs> 
Uh, he's so uh, complainy. All he does is complain. Like that's a big part of my joke. Or if I'm in a uh, losing matchup, like of course I'm gonna complain. Like usually I play it up for you guys. The amount of complaining is you know part of the joke, but. Some people are really dumb, dude, and I'm sorry um, that if you guys think that I'm actually, you know, like, whining. Like, I'm not actually... What the fuck? I heard her slice. Was that on her blue buff, maybe? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm not, like, you know, actually salty or anything. Like, obviously, I chose to be in this matchup and stuff. I'm, you know, I'm not, like, whining about it. Like I said, I'm just trying to, you know, be, be, be here for you guys. You know? So, yeah, uh, comments from the, uh, the peanut gallery aside. Get him! Get this motherfucker. See what you got, homie. You wanna come in to hog this? I know you do, so I'm gonna reset it. <gasps> you a bitch. Oh, you a dirty bitch. Wow, I hate your guts. Watch this. Boom. Boom. How you feeling right now? Oh my god. He's feeling pretty good. And I'm feeling pretty mad. Jesus Christ. That sucks. So badly. Yeah, if we if there was a combat blink, I would get I would get it, man. I would get that shit. See, now I need to go take like this fucking blue buff. He should have went uh, auto attack a little bit earlier. I would have just rushed Shins if I were him here. Uh, but the Brawler Speed Stick definitely does its work as well. Yeah, like I said, when I'm complaining, I really am just, like, playing it up for you guys to just, like, you know, to emphasize, like, one, how uh, how bad it is. Like, like I'm not saying it to j just be, like, a little bitch. Like, I'm sorry. Well, I, just, I thought, you know, that's part of my act, usually, right? Like, that's my stand-up. Nah, but <laughs> that's, you know, that's, it's a big part about uh, showing how imbalanced duel is as well, though. It's a big, a big thing that people have to realize. Watch this. Get him. Get him with it. Hit him. Hit him, baby. Damn, did I hit him with the birds? Is it enough? Oh my god, you lucky bastard. Come back over here. Watch this. He's going to try to play me. I'm going to play you, homie. Watch this shit. Get ready for it. You ain't even ready, are you? Shield. Shield. You ain't even shielding. See, he was waiting to shield until uh, until my damage like was confirmed going to come out. So that's why I waited on it. And then I decided not to use the birds because he could shield that easily, right? Because it's sick damage. Instead, hit him with the hot bop. Hit him with the back off. No way he can shield that out of a stun. And we got him. 2 0 -oh right now. We're looking good. So we're doing a fine job right now fighting back into uh, into this bitch. 4,300 gold on deck. He stop it. He's gonna aggress on me again. Okay, no, he's not. All right, all right. So let's do this. Get some fucking pen online. Am I right? And you don't. I don't want too much. Call me crazy, boys. Call me crazy. Do it. I don't give a shit. None of the other actives will help me here. Meditation, no. Maybe weakening. Maybe weakening against him here. Could be good. I should have done that. Fine. Fuck it. But no, Sunday's going to be good. Watch. Because he's going to go so much defense. He is. Better shield that. See, if I, sh if I let him take the birds and then I immediately knock back. So if I go wing blade here, like, it's not really going to matter. Because uh, he'll take it off so easily. And it's a little too much health. Watch this. Now I can sunder his ass and see, like, in these situations, I feel like sunder is going to pay off. I'm going to try to bait him here. Because I can, like, I can stun and then sunder. I feel like that's going to be really strong. He doesn't have hog for this, so by the time I get here, it's going to be done, of course, because that is just pretty strong. That Sunder, though. Afro Sunder, baby. See, any god that has a, uh, a stun that can confirm Sunder like that, it's pretty strong on them, dude. It really is. And any god like Nemesis. Yeah, see, he... <laughs> you don't even know. Any god like, um, like uh, Aphrodite that can be... Uh, 
you know, that really needs that extra burst. She doesn't have enough damaging abilities because her one is just not damaging at all. Her ult doesn't do any damage. You know, I, I feel like the Sunder is definitely a good pickup. Here he's going to look to ult me, so I'm going to dip. He's not going to ult if he knows that I can back away with a sprint. To be honest, though, he should be ulting even though I have the sprint up. Because sprint is a long-ass cooldown, where his ult whereas his ultimate is not. So it should be up to this man to prioritize that. To prioritize that ultimate, try to take down my, uh, my sprint so that he can get a confirmed kill on me next time. He's not recognizing that, and that's why we're uh, abusing it. We're, we're um, being able to play a lot more aggressively can than we're supposed to be here because of that fact. Wow, look how little damage I do to that. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go back and buy full rod. Feels good, man. We did have the, you know, the lost artifact, so I guess it's not a full, full buy, but it was nearly full, come on. His biggest problem here, as well, is that he doesn't have any cooldown reduction. Uh, that's one of Nemesis' only uh, downfalls against Magicals, is that she doesn't have the ability to uh, to get cooldown reduction very, uh, you know, very, what's the word, um, very conveniently. Uh, because with Breastplate on Nemesis, like, that's the perfect item for her, is Breastplate in, in a lot of these situations. Um, and without the uh, accessibility of Breastplate, she's really... Uh, really pressed to go something like a Jotun's and with Jotun's here he wouldn't be able to have the uh, cooling re uh, or cooling reduction healing reduction that he wants right so it's actually pretty sick how uh, Afro is able to uh, push him into this uh, situation so now I got a sprint here we got him son there son there son there so right now we're just trying to bait him out right make him uh, force these engagements the only time he's forcing them, conveniently as fuck for us, is when we're under tower. And Aphrodite is one god that you have a lot of trouble diving. You cannot conveniently dive this bitch. Because she has so many tools to knock you back, stop, uh, heal herself up, stun you, uh, and ult herself, you know? And with the sprints as well, ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. And the Sunder, of course, lending a lot there for us. We're gonna knock her away and try to finish this thing up. We get it, we're dead, but I'm gonna ult just our, uh, yeah, just ult for good measure here. My ult's on a low cooldown, so if we can, you know, try to survive for a little bit here. He actually did use his, uh, his thingy, <laughs> his dash. In the heat of the moment, I call pretty much everything thingy. Is he backing off? Damn, so that's a huge win. We got the Phoenix down, looking pretty good right now. Like I said, when you're in these kinds of matchups, you just gotta use the tools that you have at hand. And try to uh, force some misplays from your opponent. And then capitalize on them as hard as possible. I do not recommend playing these matchup these types of matchups though regularly. But to be honest, maybe it was good for me not to strike this because this is a an interesting matchup, right? One that he's probably not too used to seeing. I'm gonna go poly just for the push potential. Um, there's probably something better I can go here, but I don't want more health. Uh, so I might sell it. I just gotta think of what else I'd want. Like double defense, maybe? Anemia? No, she's gonna shred right through that. Not too sure. Yo, guys, uh, there are four days left for this shirt sale. Uh, or not sale, but for this shirt campaign. We're trying to hit 100 shirts sold. I doubt we can do it, because there's only four days left. But if we can get even close. I would be a happy fucking camper. Thank you guys so much for all the support you've given me. And just to let you know that that sale is ending or that campaign is ending in four days. So that'll be your last opportunity to get one. So definitely look to get one now if you uh, if you are in need. All right, so we got another Sunder here. Actually, I'm doing quite a little bit with my volley shots. Oops, I used the wrong button. Got him anyway, though. Got him anyway. All right, so let's see. What are we gonna do here? How much are we gonna do to this with our Polly? Polly's doing a little bit. Polly's doing a little bit. Yo, we're doing mad damage to it. Let's go Afro. I'm gonna suicide to it for good measure. Uh, maybe I could have killed the creeps and killed the Titan. Maybe, just maybe. Fuck, the Phoenix is coming up pretty soon. God damn it. All right. Maybe that was a misplay. 
I would have gotten one more ability off on it, and I think that's all I needed. Fuck my life, dude. Alright, that's okay. We got it mad low. Suiciding for it was the right option, or would be the right option, if the creeps weren't so close. I didn't realize how close they were to me there. They had pushed up. They, those creeps, they went in, man. They pushed up like champions. But with my poly shot here, I can take out that phoenix easily. I'll have to sacrifice one more time for it. But um, with the titan as low as it is, hopefully, you know, this wasn't the throw of the century and we can just, uh, we can finish this up regardless, you know. He's going to have a hard time clearing this, even though he has the golden bow. Ooh, get shit on. That's a lot of damage. That's a damn lot of damage. All right, so phoenix is up. He's got a back. Or if he stays, he's dead. So let's see, homie. Let's see. We don't want to uh, reset the, the Titan here at all. Nice. We even immune that. And we immune. Ooh. Look at that poly shot. Doing work. Ooh. Got him. You're done, son. You're done. GG. Aphrodite. Holly Sunder. These are the tools.